let's move on to game number four because a little bit like rinse and repeat of this game, but with just a little bit more quality. Hetafe uh, plus two twenty. Villarreal, everyone's darling from midweek, unless you're a Bayern fan. Uh, plus one fifty. Cannot believe that. I mean, one forty for draw no bet for the visitors. Under over two goals with the under being at plus one ten. Uh, Pavlos kicked me off because there's a massive, massive goal here. I'm thinking Villarreal, not looking at the tired. I'm looking at the boost of confidence and the broad shoulders playing tall. Plus 150 for Villarreal would normally be minus 110. Yeah, true. It's, uh, you know, maybe they spent a lot of uh, energy uh, in that uh, second in that second leg with Bayern Munich. But, uh, you know, when you, when you remain unbeaten in two matches against Bayern Munich in the quarterfinals, I mean, if that's not a huge psychological boost, I don't know what it is. I mean, really. And uh, the thing is that they now play a Getafe side that uh, are probably safe from relegation, mostly, you know, due to their um, uh, home form, because on the road they're stinky, still haven't won. Uh, and they, uh, you know, they're coming off a, a 2 0 loss to, to Real Madrid, where they didn't, uh, they, they weren't that bad, but they weren't that good either. I mean, they were quite active, uh, but that's. Uh, Five-man backline is really uh, not. It's, it's not gonna give you a lot of goals. I mean, they can maybe safeguard the defense to not get destroyed, but uh, it's not gonna give you a lot of goals. But they've been surprisingly good at home. I mean, um, they're now unbeaten since I think it's uh, late October or something like that, late November. Uh, but they had a quite easy schedule uh, with Mallorca, with Alaves, Levante, Granada. They did beat Real Madrid as well. But, you know, most of their wins, they have came against teams who are, uh, you know, actually with them in their rat race uh, to avoid their relegation. So uh, against this Villarreal side, I'm not so sure if they can, uh, you know, be able to contain Villarreal's enthusiasm. Uh, after all, Villarreal, they have a, a nice bench. I mean, uh, they can easily use uh, their... Uh, some reserves here and they can still win um, after all they've they've won uh, I think it's, uh, six in a five in a row against Getafe in recent years so that goes to show that they're um, you know if if I saw a couple of draws or Getafe wins there maybe I would say that this is a dangerous match but Villarreal traditionally strong uh, uh, you know against uh, Getafe especially in the past couple of years um, not so great on the road this season and not very good results, uh, especially after a Champions League match. But again, I think that psychological boost of uh, beating one of the best teams in the world, uh, eliminating them actually, because uh, they beat them in the first leg. But uh, that draw in the second leg was again a huge, a huge feat. I mean, they completely dismantled Bayern's offense. So, yeah, I, I'm, I mean, you're not going to get uh, um, uh, such a great value at plus 150 on the money line. Uh, with Villarreal against a side like Getafe all season. So uh, you might as well grab it. Like, or, yeah. or, Paco, you just go draw no bet. Everything you've got. I don't see Villarreal getting beat in this game. I know they got beat 2-0 a few weeks ago. I think it was away in Granada where they were an absolute joke. But <sighs> I'm, I'm thinking that they come home. They do more than enough to keep a clean sheet. I mean, Getafe, I like plus 175. I don't see Villarreal getting beat, so I think it's a shot to nothing with the draw no bet angle on the visitors. Yes, and also about Villarreal, I believe that um, well, I've, I've seen obviously Villarreal with with European football this season, and and as Pablo said, very very impressive. They're they're showcasing both games, both in La Ceramica and also in in Munich against the Bayern. But at the same time, you also have to look into their. Uh, immediate future. Okay, they're going to play the semi-finals, the Champions League semi-final, which is an absolute historic feat for the for the club. But at the same time, imagine that they, they get knocked out of the of the Champions League. They are very far away from European spots. So Villarreal, the little team that could, the Cinderella story of the season with an incredible squad, which is by the way very very expensive to keep, mm. could be without European football next season. So that's like football work. That's the way football works. So they need to win in La Liga, and that's why they cannot really relax after uh, moving on to the to the semifinals in the Champions League. So against Getafe, the main issue is that Kike Sanchez Flores knows uh, Villarreal very very well. He actually knows all three, uh, four Valencian sides because he spent many years of his career and his life over here in, in Comunidad Valenciana. And he knows how Villarreal plays. He knows how Unai Emery plays. He knows that he'll need to be very. Uh, 
proficient defensively in order to keep Villarreal at bay. And that's why uh, I believe that Getafe have a shot against them. So you face only one hand. Getafe only needed like one win, possibly one, two wins to be safe, definitely. At home, it's going to be easier for them than in, on the road, as, as uh, Flash and Pablos already have, have said. Um, and on the other hand, you have Villarreal who need the wins because they just cannot relax. They are playing a Valencian derby against Valencia next uh, Tuesday, which won't be easy because both teams are going to be thinking about other stuff. Valencia about the Copa del Rey final and Villarreal thinking about the following uh, Okay, there's a more days. chance that Valencia, well, obviously we're jumping ahead now to midweek, but obviously we need our cards marked because you know these teams just like you do the back of your hand. But surely Valencia have got more eyes on other prizes in next midweek than Villarreal because Villarreal win this and they win next week. That's six points out of six. They can actually start thinking, right, we have got a backup plan if all things go bad in the Champions League semi final. Definitely. And, and the way I see it, and from some uh, inputs getting from the Villarreal camp, I believe that after moving on to, to that semi final, they have like two weeks in order to prepare the game, which won't need much preparation because you're facing Liverpool after all and that's, you know, it's going to be very tough. Anyway, but they said that they are thinking about the chance of, you know, winning, actually winning the games in order to be within arm's reach of European places because if they get knocked out of Europe, they need Europe next season in order to sustain the kind of football model. So that's why I think that BRL are going for it this weekend against Getafe. I expect a clash of styles in that sense. And that's why, in other words, I kept myself away from this game because I wasn't really sure about the outcome. But under other circumstances, I would see, for example, Getafe getting something out positive of it because VRL will be thinking about the Champions League and that's it. But no, they have many reasons to be thinking about the Liga and going for the three points in this game. OK, let's have a little look at the official picks. Do not see the away side getting beat. So that's why my selection is Villarreal. Draw no bet at minus 135. Again, minus 140 shown. Minus 135. So you're looking around that area for Villarreal. Draw no bet. Um, and them just can go in strength to strength. 